Hello, hello, konnichiwa. This is Zetsna, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority, Chapter 2, Part 2. So, in the last video, we investigated Kai's laptop and then got traded the sacrifice card. And now we are here to finally face off our hallucination with the help of Gin. Can I confront the hallucination? Face it. Sara. You aren't Joe. I need to push aside the evil clutches reaching for me. Literally. Okay, I'm actually scared about this. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm not great at button mashing or moving the mouse quickly in imprecise locations. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yeah, this is such, like, <laughs> I guess a random mini game. I mean, it's nice, it's a nice change of pace. Uh, because we don't get any more of these kinds of mini games in this part of the chapter. Uh, since all of that was kind of just chapter 2 part 1 stuff. But we did it! Ch You're already broken. It's impossible to get rid of me for good. See you later. Not in this run, you won't. Big sis, Sara? Gin. Thank you. I had forgotten something important. You're back to normal, Wolf? Was that easy? Yeah, let's all return alive, together. I won't let anyone else's lives be lost. I won't let the kidnappers have their way. Yeah! I'm brimming with energy. It's more than just my life. To protect everyone, I'll move forward. Oh. Big sis Sara, let's go, wolf. Uh, and then all of that hallucination stuff makes it so that we completely gloss over what Gein was doing on the first floor. <laughs> we have no idea. Aw, I love the Gein spray for this too. Now we have Gein's partner ability. Ooh. For now, where are we headed, meow? Let's see. Ah, how about we question Melon Solo Lady about an exit, meow? We'll make her cry for real with your coerciveness, wolf. Oh, <laughs> come to think of it, didn't Cephalon retrieve Rear Ranger's body? If she found the chip, we should probably hurry. Huh? Are we really off to make her cry, meow? Huh. <laughs> and what's this? There's something on the ground. What's this, meow? A video? This seems familiar. A video from the prize exchange? Ah. This is the victim video that Nell bought. As I recall, it showed a woman in a police uniform tied up with chains. And in front of a man looking on, a death trap was activated. From behind, the man looked just like Keiji, but... Did Binxus now drop this wolf? Why here? Hmm. <laughs> well, we got it anyways. A suspicious vending machine sits at the top of the stairs. Can we sniff anything? No, okay. Alright, let's go to the lobby. Nobody here? Alright. Um, check the relaxation room. All oh, these two. Kana is quietly conversing. Yes, so really has done a lot to help us escape. Oh, it's nice that Kana's finally free from the shackles of having to have to watch over so 24 7 because that's kind of that was her role in chapter one or chapter two part one was to always keep an eye on so but now she can finally go and speak with other people they're talking about so talk to her shout loudly let's shout kana yeah talking about so let me hear it uh you scared me sister mm. i mean sara Earlier, I went to return the laptop to So, and it looked like he was making progress on a plan to escape. Aww. <laughs> Is that right? Right, because he speaks with Now about the evil AI after he finishes trading uh, Sara and Kyutaro's cards. Was what he said before really true? I'm sure So can come up with a way for all of us to leave. So... Whatever roll car you have, it doesn't matter, Sara. Eh? Kana. 
Mm, she knows. Yeah, because she was with So when uh, Kyutaro showed them the sacrifice card. So she knows that So has it. And Sara is terrible at hiding her emotions. <laughs> so it's very obvious. Reiko is conversing quietly. Can't believe you, Kanna. Is So really? They're talking about So. Talk to her, ignore. <laughs> Let's talk. Reiko. Hey. Reiko slapped my shoulder with an accepting smile. Reiko. I see you've got some color back in your face. Glad you're okay, Sara. Aw, you too, Reiko. Come on, you literally just lost your brother. Sara lost Joe like three, four days ago. And yet, we're the ones complaining. I'm sorry. At the time, I... It's fine. Don't say a thing. We actually kept looking at the laptop, but there wasn't anything major. They just kept analyzing Sada's taste in food and pastes. I see. If I knew a little more about computers, maybe I could do something. But that ain't happening. Gotta think of something else. Aww. <laughs> well, now it's time to sniff. Sniff, sniff. Hmm, you wanna hug him? Come here. Oh, Reiko, such a great big sis. Meow? Meow? Stop it, Wolf. I'm seriously searching. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> sure you are, sure you are. Oh. Sniff, sniff. Yeah, no. Meow, that hurt, Wolf. Oh. Uh-huh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't you know Kana's buff? She, she's actually the strongest cast member. Alright. Um, let's check our bedroom. Do you, do you say anything on our bed? It smells good, like big sis Sara meow. Don't pick up any strange taste, Skin. Oh. Okay. Yep, so there's a ring-up box in every room. Monitor room. Okay, nothing. Do you, can you smell Mishima's AI? No. <laughs> Uh, good old crop stash back here? Nope. Skin, say anything for these? Alice. Alright. <laughs> Let's head back. I probably shouldn't giggle after saying Alice. And then, yeah, nothing back here. So let's finally head. Oh, I guess we didn't go to the rune quarter. I always ignore it because it's covered. Yeah, you can even trade here. What about the room of rubble? And we can't go to Kano's uh, trial room anymore. Okay, nothing here. Gein, you're not gonna talk about what you did on the first floor? <laughs> sure. Alright, then the medical office. Oh no. Ah, Sara and Gein. Big sis now? What are you doing, Meow? I was just looking for Safalin. Hmm, why? Did you find her? <laughs> Did you find her? No, she isn't anywhere. It's strange. I thought I saw her into the medical office. Hmm. Bring a box. Trade cards. First aid kit. Do you say anything about the first aid? No, what about now? Meow. She has sort of a pleasant scent mixed with the smell of an art room. Wolf. Oh, yeah, the art room scent is very iconic. Heek, really? Definitely a scent that screams big sis now. Meow. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Aw. Alright, well, let's check what this goop is. Meow, I smell a weird smell, woof. What sort of smell? Hmm, meow. Ah, it's like blood mixed with something burnt, woof. Hmm, yeah, the... the Big question is like, what would smell like blood and burnt? Like that points to Mishima, but it's unlikely that he would be brought all the way up here, through here, I would imagine. Um, I guess it could be Alice, since he was pierced um, from an explosion, so he probably would be a little burnt. But I know this dialogue doesn't change when it's Reko that dies either, and she was just stabbed. So, yeah, I don't know what the blood and like Ranger doesn't bleed. So, it could just be like old blood, which would suggest Mishima or someone else, but. Well, what? 
Uh, are you two okay? I think it's coming from the glass door. Behind this door. There should be that all of him. I'll open it up, woof. Again. There was nothing inside. I see. Ah, good. Something's odd. Hmm, that's- we're just optimistic. Good. I didn't want to see him now. Oh. Ah! Big sis Sara, there's a path in the back, wolf. Say what? M maybe Saval is through here. Should we go in, meow? If you're going, I'll come too. Hmm. <laughs> if you're going in, I'll come with you. Anything else? Okay. There's a pitch black path further in. What should I do? Let's proceed. Oh, what in the... Meow, creepy wolf. Oh, don't tell me these are all humans. <laughs> eh, no, that can't be right. They're all dolls, wolf. Eerie meow. Hmm. On the left stand numerous dolls, including one of So, Kyutaro, and Professor Mishima. Yeah, and we can see Kurumada back there. Even the loner gets a doll, meow. Makes me peeved, wolf. <laughs> so, huh? Yeah, at least we know he's a candidate. The person in the photo on the laptop. He was wearing the same scarf as So. Just what relation do they have? Big sis Sara, what do you think of the loner, wolf? He's an enemy, he's an ally. I don't know, I hate him. He's an ally. Big sis Sara, you're nice, meow. So's made me suffer again and again. But first and foremost, I want to believe him. Meow. <laughs> On the right stand, numerous dolls, including ones of Gin and Alice. And there's also Anzu and Megumi in the back. Like looking at a mirror, woof. <laughs> it just moved a little weird close. Talk about cute. Talk about cute. Wow, you can't say that to a boy, big sis Sana. Sorry, I meant to say cool. Yeah, no problem, woof. <laughs> in the middle stand numerous dolls, including ones of myself, Keiji, and Kanna. Oof, feels like they'll start talking to me any second, meow. Hmm, I don't think they're going to start moving. There are even dolls of people we never met. Probably those who were already made victims. Mm, based on the shadows, it's hard to tell. I feel like the one behind, in between So and Kyutaro is my. Yeah, that feels right. And then, hold on, I need to look at the list. We see Kurumada. We don't really see one that looks like Hayasaka. It might be the one in between So and Kana. Or... I feel like more likely it's the one next to that, the one between Kana and Sara. Uh, I don't know who- like, the one between So and Kana looks like it could be Kurumada, but it's not because he's already there, unless they have duplicates. I don't think there's one of Hinako. If there was, it wouldn't make sense. And then, other than that, Ranmaru I guess doesn't have one, so his is probably one of the other ones. He's supposed to be shorter than Sara, so maybe it's the one in the back who's farther away. Uh, and this is also the Kyutaro that is used that we meet later on. <laughs> on the left stand, numerous dolls including So, Kyutaro, and Professor Mishima. Let's scribble on the loner's doll, meow. Gin, don't get us caught, we don't have a pen. Um, We don't have a pen. I know the feeling, but we don't have a pen. Too bad, meow. We can key him with the key that we have. Uh, but yeah, this is a Kyutaro that we meet later on in chapter 3. Which is sad. But it, again, that's another thing that like this scene sort of foreshadows. And then, any new dialogue? Big sis Sana, even your doll is pretty woof. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Gin. On the right, 
making a doll of me without permission is infringing on my likeness, meow. Not like our rights are being respected anyway, woof. Oh, uh, yeah. Right now, let's try smelling <laughs> everyone. Let's scribble on the loner. Okay, I guess this is all just the same. Same dialogue, the dolls don't smell like anything. Okay, then let's head back. I smell something further back too, meow. It keeps going. Once we've searched here, uh, I guess we'll go there. All right, doll storage depths. Ranger's head is sitting on a table. It was here. Eek, this is Ranger's corpse. Well, the head at least. <laughs> Not necessarily a corpse. Let's look for the chip. Let's let's just go straight to the chip. Y yes. Hmm. Wait, what's this chip like even? <laughs> yeah, they grab the three characters that know nothing about technology. I mean, maybe Gin knows a bit, but. Uh. Not good. I don't know anything about complex machinery like this. <laughs> Yeah, I guess any technology issues that I had would just be resolved overnight by the mysterious uh, household assistant. <laughs> Did I have... What? He talked, meow. Gin, don't shout. Oh, and another trade. So this one, I believe, is between Keiji and Kyutaro. I think? Where they trade the... um. Keymaster and Sage. So now Kyutaro is the one that has a Sage and Keiji is the one that has a Keymaster. Why now? Who's there? Please, leave at once. Safalan. Miss Sara. Melon soda lady with the lousy tastes. What's up with this, wolf? Ah. So you regain consciousness, Ranger. Sa. Fallet. Mm. God damn it. Why wouldn't you let me just die? Yeah, wolf. You should leave a bad guy like this alone, wolf. And yet, don't tell me you want to fix him, wolf. What? What? Um, I'm being fixed? There is no fixing you. Huh? Important parts of you have been destroyed. You have about ten minutes left. D Don't play games with me, idiot. Then why would you... In order to complete you. Complete? How much do you know about yourself, Ranger? I'm... Dad's masterwork. Real Ranger. Aww. That is not your real name. It's Say. Just kidding. <laughs> you are an incomplete creation. What? Gashu strongly imbued you with a certain emotion. A certain emotion. Superiority, inferiority, posteriority. <laughs> Let's just say posteriority. Right? Uh, um, what would that even mean? That's not even an emotion. A strong sense of inferiority, which gave birth to jealousy and hatred. It could be said that it made you more human. And he discarded what you originally possessed. Discarded? Kindness, compassion, happiness. Nearly all of your positive emotions. Even with the mechanisms to create expressions, you can't create a heartfelt smile. So I wonder if this was Gashu's impression of, say, the kid that they adopted, and how he was maybe better before he became friendly with Kai. Because he's got no heart. It was originally my job to insert it. Gashu handled the negative emotions, and myself the positive emotions. But Gashu stopped me. 
claiming that imperfection was more human, he rearranged you into a warped doll. Oh, no way. Now, I will return you your heart. I will perfect you to your true form. Stop it. Safalan began working at a machine. Stop it. Safalan. Oh. Stop it. Please. I don't need a heart. Not now. I just need to die. But you... Stop. Stop. Uh, they're flowing in. All these unwanted emotions. No, this isn't... Forgive me, just... You must know the extent of what we took from you. I don't want to know that. Oh, yeah. Ranger really was like the ultimate villain since he was incapable of having any positive emotions. Like, all he can do is bad. He's not... He's physically not capable of being a good person. But then, to finally be shoveled with all of these, like, guilts and all positive emotions and understanding of how horrible the things he did were... Yeah, it really is evil. Now, you will be perfected. From the heartless doll, Rio Ranger, to the human with a heart, Rio Lizer. Oh, uh, yeah, so this, in Japanese, the names would be um, Totonoeru is the first, like, original Rio Ranger, and that becomes Kokoroeru. So Totonoeru becomes Kokoroeru, which I think VG Person did a great job, like, finding an alternate to that that made sense in English. But yeah. You men? What? What have I done? The last words. That's what you get for killing a happy sibling family. Maybe not happy, but they were siblings and they were family and you ruined that. It's ended. You're cruel. Well done. Um, no, no. Yes, I suppose so. This is just my obligation. Safalin began rustling around in Laser's head. This is the chip. Huh? Obtain Laser's chip. You came looking for it, didn't you? Hmm. If used well. This can nullify security. But to do that, you must find a secret room only Gashu knows about. That is all I can say. Now go. Oh. Safalan is silently looking at Laser. Oh, I guess, yeah, Real Ranger slash Realizer is almost like Safalan's kid, considering she's one of the- one of two people that created him. Okay, nothing else to see. Let's sniff. Sniff, sniff. Meow, she smells like a dentist wolf. Oh, <laughs> what about the head? I don't want to come near, meow. Meow. Laser's head is sitting on a table. Alright, oh, a little chip. Laser's chip. A small chip removed from Realizer's head. Capable of nullifying the facility's security. Nice. All right, we got a pretty full uh, group of inventory. Okay, and nothing new, I'm assuming. Okay, then let's head out to the medical office. That's right, there was a trade, huh? I checked my tablet behind my back so that Gina now wouldn't notice. Still the sacrifice. I guess that figures. Should we look for that secret room soon, Meow? R right, we need to find that. Um, I might have an idea about it. 
Huh? Do you really take us there? Yeah, let's just believe. That's amazing now. Please, take us there. Y yes of course. Mm, yeah, Gein has a pretty good intuition too. He's just like Keiji. What is it, Gein? Um, nothing. First, to the lobby. Mm, well, I think we will see what now has, what she knows, in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. You know, we got to check out all of the dolls in the doll room. Got to say hi to Kyutaro's doll before we find him later on. And we got to learn the truth about real ranger slash realizer slash totonoeru slash kokoroeru. And yeah, I think it's a really nice scene and I'm happy that they add that instead of just killing a ranger off and having no extra moment with him. Now we actually get some context and a reason to like him as a character. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!